Now I have a sneaking suspicion that there's something going on with this pulley. Hey, what's up folks? Just a little follow-up to the video on the uh, drill press uh, fix-up for the electric motor. I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. I'm thinking it's probably just going to be some high-speed footage with some uh, obligatory royalty-free YouTube music. Enjoy. <laughs> supposed to be a, a glorious video of me utilizing my boring bar and such oh look at that it's freaking perfect you get it on there right well, that's the sleeve it's just a piece of copper tubing oh I can get it off there now I think I got it on there yeah I just want to see if that's gonna work but yeah, with the new tool posts and all that, I kind of failed to realize that the big bugger is going to be in the way of the video. And we might actually have to do another pass in there anyway yet, so. I went, it's about 5 thou under right now. But that's going to compress just a scotch. Though that is just half inch copper tubing. By the looks of it, that's a freaking perfect gap for that key stock. Hell yeah. About 200 thou, so yeah, we got just enough to make it over that. But yeah, we got a very nice clean bore out of that. My first time uh, boring out cast iron, I think I did pretty good. You'll still see that pretty nasty void inside there if you can get a light through there. Get you guys to get that. There we go. Yeah, that void is in there, but. We don't have to go all the way down, just enough to for that shaft to sit on there. That looks pretty freaking good. Still enough, should still be enough meat in there for the keyway. I don't really want to take it down anymore. But uh, I'm going to give her a test fit and see how she fares. Alright, so there's our craptastic little sleeve there. Let's pop our key stock in there. And uh, hopefully, we got a pretty decent looking bore in there. Yeah, good, you can see it. And I want it to slip over there just a little snug like. Maybe a little tappy tap. Yeah, well, that feels pretty good so far. So far, so good. Pretty good right there. A little extra toppy top. I'm not sure we'll even need a freaking tight nut key slot. <laughs> key in there, that's a pretty nice fit. 
much nicer than before. That don't move at all now. This better work because, uh, you know, he's making me look bad. Not that I, not that I need help with that. <laughs> Successful test. Well, well we gotta drill some shit here because uh, that's kind of what it's all about here. Drilling stuff. Okay. Let me hook this on here somehow. There we go. Yeah, pretty sure there's no way that's coming off there this time. And the gauge. Oh, that's how I felt the rest of the time. That's, that's a miles of improvement right there. I did actually clamp this thing down this time guys this drill bit press will rip my damn arm off so <laughs> so yeah we'll give her a little uh, test pilot hole here quarter inch uh, I think the biggest bit I got other than my my fancy split point one is with a 5 8 so we're just gonna have to stick with that for this time being Now that's even better picture. Looks a little wobbly, doesn't it? I'm not too worried about it. It's not a bona fide Jacobs chuck. Still pretty nice though. Fuck all. Nice. 
This cover is looking a little bit shaky. I can't stand machinery that's fucking rattling all the time. It drives me freaking bonkers. Even my lathe I fixed up to, to the point where it's pretty quiet. <laughs> for, you know, for an 80-something year old Atlas. But I'm pretty happy with that. Still some kind of rattling in there somewhere, but it's not the motor, it's not the pulley. Could be, well, it could be anything. That's still a hundred times better than what it was. Right on, folks. Well, that's my little follow-up to the drill press fix-up. Motor's fixed, pulley's fixed. Hope you enjoyed it. Well, maybe even uh, find it beneficial in some... I don't know, in some way. <laughs> Have a good night, guys. Peace out.